Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And uh, once again, um, this is uh, something I get asked from time to time. Maybe some of you have projects to do with, you know, either uh, word processing and you need to write some letters or a document or something. Or you want to have maybe an Excel spreadsheet and things like that. And of course, Microsoft Office is, first of all, quite expensive. And not for everyone. Um, the majority of what people do with the Office Suite is actually so uh, basic that you often can do it with something free. And if you need to exchange some documents with other people that do have Office, you can still save it in the uh, .doc format, which is the official Word format, or XLS for Excel. Um, I recommend, once again, um, if you aren't really ch exchanging too many documents with you know people that have the real office uh, suite, and if you just want to have some basic functional office um, apps, LibreOffice is still the uh, number one app to get. So uh, LibreOffice is downloadable from here. I will actually paste the uh, link in the description. You just download the LibreOffice uh, version that you want. What's nice about it, it has a version compatible with every platform. So whether you're on a Mac computer, a Linux distro, or in Windows, you will have the possibility to use this very nice, very good um, open source project. Once you download it, well, you'll have the ability to run the LibreOffice app, which gives you access to the different apps, like the equivalent of um, Word. So you see here, Writer Document is the equivalent of Word Calc Spreadsheet. So if we click on Writer Document, for example, it will open up the equivalent of Word. You've got tools pretty much um, almost, if not as powerful as the official office suite it has everything needed in here to really really uh, do what you want when you save documents you can save it if you ever want to exchange a document with somebody you can actually save it as a official because the default is ODF but you can save it as an official word document that will be opened on any uh, Microsoft Word um, app and of course, uh, depending on what you do, so you have that, you have uh, Calc, which is the equivalent of the uh, Excel spreadsheet and so on. So uh, check it out. It's free. You can, of course, donate if you like it. So this is the equivalent of Word. Excel, Impress is uh, the equivalent of uh, the uh, PowerPoint presentation. Uh, Draw Drawing, which is a um, kind of a you know paint app if you want. And the base database, which is uh, an equivalent of one of the uh, database apps, uh, which is what's called Access on Office and so on. So whatever you need, it's probably in here, and it's probably enough to do what you want. Uh, and highly compatible, not 100% compatible, that's very important to understand, but highly compatible with Office. So you can uh, even maybe open some of the documents people send you. Uh, if they actually save it in the basic doc format, um, the I believe the latest doc X and XLSX formats are might not be supported as they are proprietary to Microsoft. But you know, there's ways to save it in a um, simple XLS or doc to open it. So check it out; it's free, and I think it's going to be enough for most people. To what they need to do um, with the um, with their uh, maybe uh, office projects or personal projects. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.